part of my what I learned when I learned to love myself video. So if you haven't caught the first one, go back and look at that too. So what I learned was that I could spend less time noticing what was wrong with me, what I lacked, where I wasn't good enough, and spend more time noticing with compassion the beauty in other people. I learned to love what is and allowed myself to be more present in my life instead of chasing the next goal or dream that was going to make me enough or sufficient. I let go of the fear that came with proving. Hmm. Trying to prove myself, wanting to prove myself, wanting to show up as the best I could be all the time and getting really, really fearful about whether that could be or whether I'd be able to do it. I let go of fear of not reaching my imagined goals in my imagined time frame for my imagined success. Sucked those all out of my thumb, made them real, and suddenly thought I had to live up to them in order to be sufficient. Let go of that. Still love goals, but they're more passionate, they're more interesting, they're more a motivation for their own sake as opposed to a need to reach something so that I could prove that I was enough to myself. Yeah. I can't read this one. I'll come back to you. <laughs> I needed less and less from those around me and began to appreciate them more and more for who they really were. So what I meant by that was I had less expectation they should be or do or behave in a certain way in order for me to be okay or to know myself as okay and had the potential just to see them for themselves and to appreciate them for themselves without judgment for myself or for them. I became kinder, much, much, much kinder, both to myself and to others. I lost my sensitivity to criticism and that was criticism both real and perceived. I lost my sensitivity to judgment, both real and perceived. I recognized that perceived judgment was a world for the psychic and that I was not so much psychic as I thought I'd been. And uh, trying to engage in that imagined psychic of, I think I know what you're thinking right now, was just really, really bad for my state of mind and not good for me at all. I started to see more clearly the sabotages that I was engaging in and had more and more insights that cleared those sabotages and those old belief systems and allowed me to be truly happy and well in my life. I learned to live with my mistakes gently and kindly because hey, I'm a human being and I make quite a lot of mistakes actually. I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> I learned to set goals and then detach from them so that I wasn't attached to the outcome in a way that made them scary or painful or stressful. And so I learned to have these goals and know that reaching them was just an adventure, a pleasure, a mission of passion rather than a mission of enoughness. I think I'll write some more of these now that I've come a little way. I forgot that I'd been writing all of these. I hope you enjoyed them and that they're an inspiration for you on your own journey. Have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.